Hey guys, the objective of today's video is to talk about principal stress, as well as to apply the concepts we learnt in the previous video to the Mohr circle. So let's say we have a similar element to the one in the previous video, except this time there are no shear stresses on the horizontal and vertical faces. By definition, these are then the principal planes, and sigma x and sigma z are our principal stresses. So the stress with the largest magnitude is called the major principal stress, and this is denoted by sigma 1. And the smallest principal stress is called the major principal stress. This is denoted by sigma 3. If we were to derive the expressions for the normal stress and shear stress for this element on a plane, we would end up with these expressions. Note how these expressions differ slightly from the previous video, because there are no shear stresses on the horizontal and vertical planes. The radius and centre of the Mohr circle can be written in terms of the principal stresses like so. So here we have the Mohr circle, and I'll just quickly label where the principal stresses would go. So the maximum normal stress which is possible is sigma 1 that goes here and the smallest possible normal stress is sigma 3 here and of course the center of the Mohr circle would be located here and the distance to the center of this circle can be found by the average of the principal stresses and the radius is found by sigma 1 minus sigma